Welcome, my name is Tom Tremblay. I'm an industry process expert for the DraftSite team at Dassault Systems. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that's as old as drawings. Title blocks predate CAD, but everyone still needs them. And there are still people that aren't taking advantage of all the ways to make them a little more powerful for them. We'll start out with our existing title block that I've already made some modifications to. How we used to modify it is simply to edit the text, but as you can see, I've started to create some block attributes for the sheet number, the date. We have our address, that's just text, but that doesn't change. I've also added block attributes for the client name and address, and a scale attribute. If I go and edit the scale attribute, you'll see how it's built. We see the name, the caption, the default value, its size, and orientation. Now let's create a new block attribute. Going to the block attribute definition tool, I can add that name. This is what will be displayed on the drawing and referenced by the system. We'll add a caption. This will appear on the command line as well as near the cursor. Then we can put a default value in so if people click through it, it will still show them something on the drawing. I don't need multi-line. I'll set the justification size and rotation. And when I click OK, I'll go ahead and put it right in the same place as my existing text. When I do this, that'll create something a little confusing. So I'll go ahead and select my old text and just simply delete it using the right click in the context menu. Now let's create another block attribute definition for the subtitle. The way we've been doing this presently inside of DraftSite is to use a note. A note can have multiple lines. So I want to make sure when I create my subtitle attribute, I'll put in my caption and I want to go ahead and select multi-line. Now a multi-line doesn't have a default value. So I'll put in my height, my rotation information, and let's place it in the drawing. Once again, I'll want to clean this up, getting rid of the old text, so now my block attribute will be available for others. We've talked about adding a logo to our title block, so I want to do that. First, I'm going to offset one of the lines that's already there in the drawing. The logo that I'm inserting is a block that already exists, and it was used creating the image tracer tool, which allowed me to get vector information right from our original JPEG of our logo. I'll slide that into position, and we're ready to go. Now for others to use this title block, I can create it as an external block. I'll use the export drawing tool and select all of the entities of my drawing and save it to the hard drive. Now anyone can insert this into a sheet and get all of the information they need. To test this, I'll create a new drawing. I can eliminate one of the existing sheets if I want to, activate the other. Then I want to use the page layout manager to modify the size. The title block that I created was a C-size architectural. So I'll go ahead and change the size of the sheet. You can also establish any print styles or anything else associated with that sheet. And then simply use the insert block tool, locking it in at zero, zero with the correct rotation. And you'll see that I have a prompt at my cursor as well as on the command line. I can start typing in the name of the client, the client's address, which is a multi-line block attribute, I'll type in the date, the sheet number, and the drawing scale. Then I'll get my new block attributes that I just added, the title and subtitles. Now remember, with a multi-line block attribute, if you really only want one line or two lines, all you have to do is press enter on an open line and it will finish entering the values. Now I have my drawing, it's all ready to go, everything looks great. Another way to approach this is to take your drawing that has your block attributes already defined and save it out as a template. Now let's test this by creating a new drawing based on that template. I can go in and edit the block attribute values and I get a table of all the block attributes in this title block. The single line items can be edited directly in the dialog and the multi-line items will appear as a note for editing. I make my modifications and I'm ready to begin my drawing. Thanks for taking the time to check out some work with our title blocks and keep revisiting the YouTube channel where you'll see many more tech tips from the DraftSite team.